Hello, welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 15 with me, Cosmic Knight. Right, well, um, kind of just seeded the fields last well, after last episode. Um, and haven't really done much, just literally just started this up. And I thought I'd start recording, but I hadn't, so I apologise for the first couple of minutes while I um, had a start with this. Yeah, just basically cut down the tree and give it a style of that. And, um, looks like the cows have run out of food. Looks like we've got plenty in the uh, in the silo there, so we'll sort that out shortly. So we made about 50 grand from um, out of cows overnight, so I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, so I took a bit of a gamble uh, between episodes. I'd seeded the fields with um, corn, sweet corn. And I thought I was going to get a bit more money than that, to be honest. Because uh, I haven't actually got anything I can do with it. So, while I've got the money, I am going to buy the corn header. It's not going to leave me much, but that's fine. Fifty, fifty dollars or fifty pounds. So what we can do? I'm just going to get that delivered to the farm. Let's get this. Where? See if we can find it. Oh, it should be actually. Oh. Yep. Yeah, we set that. Okay, so let's just, should we cut this one down? I think I might leave that one there for now. I don't think that's in the way. Uh, but we do also need to, um, uh, forestry. I forgot to buy the stunt grinder. So let's just, I know we've got a bit of a loan. We'll soon pay this back, I'm not too worried. Let's just buy another 10 grand. And buy the stunt loader again. So if you notice the um, uh, tractor start mod, manual ignition, this stays running, so that's really cool. Let's put all this away. some wood chips there. So very quickly I'm just gonna feed feed the cows. She really needs some more hay bales as well, so crack on with that shortly. We should be two or three trailer loads in here, so we should be okay for a minute. like 80,000 um, litres in there and I think this takes 20,000, 21,000 so we should be able to uh, keep them going for a little while a day at least but I think I'm definitely going to have to buy another field soon for grass anyway Nice just to be able to dump in that amount of food in one go. Turn the lights off. Let's just dump one more trailer load in there. Take that stump out. Do that shortly. Yeah, so if we look, um, 
that's used half the amount of straw than it has um, silage and grass so that's fine and we've got <laughs> loads of straw <laughs> in the other side I think. Here they come, breakfast. Brilliant. But once we can keep them at 100% 24 hours a day should be able to bring in a hundred grand a day at least with 200 cows all right so what i'm just going to do very quickly just before we start with the uh combine again i just want to stick a few bales in just so it keeps mixing i don't like things sitting about not doing anything so we're just going to grab a couple. I haven't had a chance to um, set up my steering wheel yet. I really must do that. Since uh, my PC packed up, okay, just put two more in, I think. Yeah, I think grass is going to be a real, a real problem. The more cows you get, you get through so much grass. You know, by the time you make it into hay and, and silos, etc. So I think we definitely need to buy field 35. There we go. We we'll just get. Couple of sardish bales and stick in there. So yeah, I actually just before we do that, I just want to um I must be missing something. Uh because apparently these barns down here, or, or maybe them ones over there, you can uh, empty like, silage and straw and that and whatnot. Uh Brian was saying in the comments last episode. But I can't see anywhere where it says what goes in where. Uh, maybe I'm really just can't see it for the trees for the forest type thing. Um, but yeah, if you could let me know in the comments, I, I think it might be a, a mod. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but yeah, if you could let me know, I really appreciate that. But none of them seem to have any signs or anything for what goes where. Um, let's just have a quick look over here, I don't think there's anything over here uh, because it is something I'm going to want to move into once we get more cows because bales are just going to be too labour intensive when I can just um, set up a cause play to bucket the stuff into the mixing station but yeah I can't there's nothing that seems to be doesn't seem to say anything anywhere, so yeah let me know I really really appreciate that um but anyway, moving forwards. Just pick this up. Try and get two at a time. Okay, knocking them all down. So at least we're actually mixing a bit of something up now, so that's good. Okay. 
Right. So, I think that's kind of okay. We're getting a little bit low on straw, but I think we've got enough just for the next hour or so. Let's grab the old combine. So I don't think this one actually folds, does it? So it's actually a bit early. I mean, you wouldn't have the combine out at um, 7 in the morning, quite simply, because you get um, quite a lot of moisture from overnight. You get all the dew and whatnot. Oh, actually, they're fully grown. I don't even know if they're fully grown yet. No, not yet. So there's still a bit of growing to do on that. Yeah, so you wouldn't actually uh, harvest at least until 9 o'clock. You know, you need to get the sun out. It just takes the morning dew off the plants and that then gets into the grain because you don't want the too much moisture in the grain uh, when you harvest it because then you've just got to dry it in your barns and that's expensive. Oh, it's pretty good though with that on it, doesn't it? Right, so what tractors have we got about? Okay, this one, so we just stick this somewhere. I like to clean my equipment before I put it away. Grab this trailer. Oh, there we go, that's just changing now. Slow down time again. Right, well, I think we're gonna. Do this one, I think. Uh, grain cart. Empty combine. Axle float. That looks good. Drive course. Let that reset itself. Can't get around there, can we? Okay, so I think we make a start on field 30 while we're here. Um, starting corner northwest, heading east, headland twice round before we do the field. First waypoint. Oh, yeah. And you can't bail this, so it's just going to be chopped automatically. Unfold. Cool, that's animated as well. That looks pretty good. I've never really had a huge amount to do with um, corn, to be honest. Uh, we did grow, ma oh, well, we called it maize for silage, we used to go into clamps, but we never used the combine on it. So I don't know really how it yields. It probably um, is quite bulky because it's quite a large grain compared to say something like um, a canola, because it's a tiny little speck compared to a sweet corn. Um, so I'd imagine it's probably going to fill up quite quickly. Because if you actually look on um, how we've done on our back here, so we only done two fields in sugar beet, and we've got 252 tons uh, compared to the rest of the farmers' uh, wheat. You know, so it just goes to show. And actually, we already had eight ton of uh, wheat when we started. So if you'd have done the whole lot on sugar beet, I mean, flipping it, we probably would have got well, well over, well, I reckon, five or six hundred ton easily. But it's just a it's a slow old process, that's the problem. Right, so what are we up to now? So that's running, that's running. Um I suppose we could stick some more straw down, so we are getting a little bit low. So let's just 
grabbed a tractor from here. Actually, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell some of the stuff we've got because um, there's no point waiting for a great demand. And I really need the money to uh, expand the farm. So I'm just going to grab one of these little trailers. I think we're going to sell the sugar beet first. Right. Actually, now let's do the wheat first because that's that can be used for anything. So. What's the best price for wheat? Um, if I get off 443, look at that, 670, So I know we're not going to have anything for a great demand if it comes up, but otherwise we're not careful, you can just plot along for ages and not actually really do anything. So get some traffic. Yeah, I bet they're stuck on a corner somewhere. Put money on it. Yeah, so I'm going to keep the street speed at about 20. There's no rush. It just stops it sliding about on the corners. Traffic turned off, so I'm going to worry about that. Oh well, let's do enough. So I'm trying to drive it as if I was driving the the lorry in a big trailer, so I don't have to redo the course. Take your nice wide swings and things like that. So we haven't really got too much depth at the farm shop now, it's just basically the uh, forestry bits and pieces and the uh, the big front loader there. Other than that I think everything else is kind of back where it needs to be.
Okay. Of course. So what's going on? What's what's with your neck? Okay, hold on. Stop! 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 That is the only problem with doing headlands. Uh, our corn cart does get a bit carried away sometimes. Okay, cool, so that's running. Probably could put two trailers on there actually. I think we have a spare one somewhere. So now. Try and not knock all these down. So I wonder how much a um, manure spreader costs. Probably not that much actually. No, it's a loading wagon. 17,000, how big is that? Oh, it's not really big, is it? 71,000, I'll probably get the uh, Ursus one to start with. Start small and work our way up as we get more cows. Four cows is about right, I think. Four cows, four bales. money. You do get to the stage, um, especially when you start getting more fields, that you don't really need to wait for great demands because each harvest brings enough money to kind of buy the next bit of kit you need or, you know, buy another field type thing, so it's only when you start making a fortune that you don't need to start selling everything. And when you first start the game, uh, because the extra money is nice. I wonder if I can pick three up. No, then I've got to pick. Pick one off another one then. I don't know why I've got one bale. Actually, maybe they do take five. Let's try it, shall we? Put this one in and another two. Cool. 
Right, so that should be enough food and straw to last them for a little while. It's going alright, there's some tripped up, so he's going to start on the main field shortly. I can see you getting tangled up in them trees. Actually, stop. Why does that keep going to... Uh, one. Right, so what I'm going to do very quickly, I'm just going to go and get the stump grinder, and then uh, when we come back we'll just clean that area up. So I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, so I was just having a bit of a blonde moment really. So the reason I only put four bowels in here is because the fifth bowel, you only use half of it. So yeah, don't put five bowels in unless you mind wasting half a bale. I forgot that they were 4,000 each to bales, and you got a, uh, I think it holds a total of 18, and 4 is 16,000 uh, 16, litres. So let's have a go at this. Oop. There we go, let me just uh, get rid of this as well. Cool, there we go. So we're not going to trip over anything. That's good. Alright, yeah, so... I think we get them alright, actually. Uh, we've sold... 20 tonnes or so. 30, 40 tons, can't remember which start with now. I only said it a little while ago. Uh, of wheat and we've got fifty grand, so that's good. Uh, I suppose really I should I might just repay my loan. Out of debt, brilliant. Um so now we're just starting fresh, everything now is what what we owe, so good. Just profits from now on. Um I I've I've been thinking about what to do with logging. Because it is a bit of a mission. So I think what I might do, initially anyway, is instead of instead of selling logs, which is a little bit of a mission, well, it's not too bad, what I might do is chip everything, set up cause play uh, to bring the chips from the sort of dairy area up to the farm, to store it there. Um, a bit like, I think I've done it, well, several episodes ago now. I had it all set up uh, and then use the front loader on cause play to load the trailers etc so we'd still make money from wood but it won't be selling the logs it'd just be selling the chips because I don't mind running the chipper I can do that quite quickly um, as far as I know there's no way to automate that <laughs> although actually no you still got to um, even if you had one of them loading beds I think you'd struggle uh, yeah, so I think that might be what I'll do for the foreseeable future. Because I do want to, I do quite like using the, the logging equipment. It's just a little bit of a mission, selling the logs. But I can make, selling the uh, wood chips, like a, a little machine really that'll run itself. So yeah, I think I might just end the episode here. I think next episode, what we might do, I think I might let this run for a little bit, uh, get this harvest in, because it's not really much to do. Uh, just keep selling some bits and pieces. I can make this go a little bit quicker. Yeah, keep selling um, the wheat, and probably the sugar beet as well. Uh, and then once we're done there, oh actually I need to, uh, I might use that, where's that black tractor, I think I want to cut this grass, oh maybe I'll, maybe I'll do this next cam ne uh, next next episode, uh, just do this on camera, do some bailing, yeah gosh, so much to do, okay uh, thanks very much for watching, 
I'll see you next time. Take care.